Hello everyone, my name is Prime and welcome back to another episode of ATS Showcases and today we are here in a very rainy Las Cruces and we're heading up to Socorro and we've got uh, about around 20,000 pounds, 22,000 pounds to be more exact, of computers and we're uh, in the International Lone Star with the best community ever skin. Uh, this is absolutely gorgeous I have to say. I This is actually an International Lone Star I've had here in the... Uh, ATS showcase save before I've just changed the uh, skin I didn't do anything else to save kind of like what I or the uh, skin sorry like I did over in ETS 2 uh, but I have to say it works really well with this truck in the chrome oh boy it looks really good so let's get inside get this truck started up hopefully everyone is doing well enjoying their Saturday or whatever day this video may find you I think let's see oh no lights were kind of on I just want the side lights on um you may have noticed um why was there no other ATS video this week? There was just the best of video, which hopefully everyone enjoyed, by the way. Um, and I'll get into that more in a second. And again, we're having wheel issues a little bit. So uh, let's just, yeah, no, I want to get out of here. So let's just kind of shimmy our way out. Um, simple. I had actually recorded a really, really entertaining and, uh, well, epic. I'm going right, not left. Uh, I indicated left there for a second. Uh, oh, we're gonna let that cop go before we continue out so I can uh, swing out a bit more. Um, I had recorded a really, really fun and entertaining, we're gonna use the uh, sidewalk on the other side a little bit, uh, really fun and enter entertaining prime lo uh, logistics episode. It was, <laughs> oh man, it was so, so fun. Um, but the problem was, I, during that episode, it actually, the, my recording started and stopped three times. Um, so I was kind of, you know, talking about actually how I thought I had solved the issue. Um, apparently I didn't. <laughs> I, it, it started and stopped three times during the video and in the recordings, you couldn't go 30 seconds or more without it having massive uh, frame legs and stuff like that. Um, and so I have now come down, oh man, I gotta get used to this truck. Uh, very different to some of the other ones I've been doing. It's been a while since I've driven the International Lone Star, so I'm happy to be back in it. Um, anyways, I realized uh, this was the issue. So, a little bit of backstory here first. I use um, the NVIDIA Shadow Play, or I have been for a while now, um, to record episodes uh, for you guys here. It's the built-in um, screen recorder slash streaming software, I guess you could say, that you get when you, uh, if, if you uh, download the G NVIDIA GeForce Experience, you have a, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. I'm trying to explain this well, but I'm almost mumbling over my words here, so uh, bear with me. Uh, anyways, so it works really well. It's a really high quality, um, it's a really high quality encoder, and it uses the uh, HVENC, uh, or NVENC, not HVENC, NVENC encoder, on your uh, NVIDIA GPU, if it's a 10 series, I believe, and up. Um, I may be wrong on that, it may be others as well. Um, it, it uses that uh, fully, and generally speaking, it works really well. Uh, the only problem is, is that there were a few updates that got pushed out. I didn't actually notice it. Um, I have it set that it doesn't auto-update, but I did see that it did update, so not sure what that one was about. And what it did is that it went from recording um, 1080, 60 meg, uh, per, uh, megabit, um, bit rates, uh, to, well, it was 4K, it was trying to do it in 4K, just over 100. I did not change that setting. Um, and so no wonder why I've been having issues. I'm surprised my little 1650 has been able to try and encode um, that while playing the game. That would be why there's probably been some performance hits in the last few episodes, both across ETS2 and ATS, let alone the fact that the stutters, um, it just, I think, kept getting increasingly worse and worse um, as it was going. It was just couldn't handle it. Um, fair point. I'm surprised I didn't notice it was the file size. Um, I guess I wasn't just paying attention Oh, uh, really? That's the best way to put it. I just wasn't paying attention. And, uh, yeah, that's that's the issue. I didn't think it was... I, I didn't notice it. Um, I'm surprised I didn't. I should have... It's all, That's on me, 100%. I really should have noticed um, whenever it was starting to act up. But, hey-ho, it should be working all fine now. Um, I have... <laughs> 
gone back to what I always used to run. I'm going to see if I can knock the wipers down one. Yes, I can. Um, I've gone back to what I've always used to do uh, with the 1080-60, or 1080-60, obviously, with uh, 60 meg uh, bit rate. That works really well for when I then upscale to 1440p for the YouTube thing. Generally, that has looked really, really well, or worked really well and looked really good. Um, I'm just not sure why it did that. So, fingers crossed, the issue is over with. God, I think the prime that last Prime Logistics episode where, uh, well, that you guys will never see because it there's nothing in it usable other than the audio. Um, but there was no point keeping the audio when the, there is nothing for the video. And considering the majority of stuff in that um, audio segment related to what was happening in the video, there's just no point. Um, so that's why there was no episode, uh, well, no ATS uh, video uh, until now. I am planning on doing a Prime Logistics episode um, within the next couple days um, for you guys. It'll be up on the channel. Um, I'm just going to kind of make that one up. And then, of course, there'll be the, uh, this is coming up to be ETS2 week. Um, but it will be also have an ATS video in it. So... Uh, keep that in mind <laughs> so that's that's the plan there i apologize um for all the confusion and well um the the, the technical difficulties i didn't think that this was going to be an issue um i i honestly thought it was some other stuff that had been happening but you know what i guess you live and you learn um i mean the game's been running really well since i've change that back and record it. I did actually a, a separate delivery after that when I figured out that was probably the issue. Um, yeah, it was... I, I don't get it. That issue probably wouldn't be noticeable if you had something well, to be honest, anything more powered or more powerful than a 1650. Uh, but considering my 1650 doesn't have any external power plugged into it, it just uses the PCI Express power. Um, like, this thing is small. <laughs> Um, but it works well for me. I mean, gee, look at, uh, generally speaking, it, it, it has worked really well um, for my needs so far. And until the GPU shortage is done done and over with, which I don't know when that is, I am just thankful that I have a, a, a new-ish GPU. Um, but besides that, um, thank you guys for holding in there while I try and sort this out. So like I said, everything should be fine. Uh, and besides that... Um, I do like this best community ever skin. Now, you guys, uh, probably a lot of you saw the ETS2 video. If not, you should probably check it out. I'll try and link the episodes up in the cards above, but I sometimes forget because I've got, I'm pretty busy outside of YouTube stuff. I try and write stuff down and flag it, but oh gee, I keep forgetting stuff. So, I mean, just, if not, it's it's pretty recent on the channel, you'll find it. Uh, but I really do like the uh, the chrome accents on this um, International Lone Star. I almost forgot what it was for a second. Um, it, it does look really good with the uh, skin, so I'll take that. Oh, look at the, the uh, rain's clearing up. That's quite nice. I'll just, I'll just kind of uh, do some man manual wipering, wipering? wiping every time uh, I kind of need it there as the uh, wind kind of pushes the water droplets off. Um, and so... I'm going to kind of stay because that uh, Prime Logistics episode is quite unfortunate because like I said, there are many funny things that happened in it. Um, but besides that, I covered actually a lot of topics um, that I've uh, people have been asking because it was a longer delivery and I actually talked all the way through it and it was amazing. Um, so I'm going to kind of break up uh, some of the topics here um, across this episode and then obviously the actual Prime Logistics episode that will come out within a day or two. Or at least that's my plan. I'll record it soon. Um, I just wanted to get this one going so I can kind of maintain my quote-unquote schedule. Even though I just completely butchered it. Um, but basically, the one main thing I want to talk about is we've actually got uh, Prime News on 1.41. Yes, you, I can't believe... Uh, that we are now, I gotta exit here, um, that we are now talking about that, um, ATS and ETS2 have moved so far, uh, since I've, ev well, since I started the channel, um, I do believe my first Prime News, um, or like some of that, my first Prime News coverages were actually on the 1.37, I do believe, update, um, so now we're, uh, we're, we're approaching four generations, uh, oh, good, we've discovered Sokoro. 
Um, or at least I presume it's... I, I, yeah, I think it's Sor Silkoro. I think so. Whatever. Silkoro? I don't know. I'm gonna just go with it. Um, I can't believe we're hitting almost four generation... Uh, or four up major updates of ATS already um, that I've been covering, which is pretty impressive, uh, may I say. Uh, but... Thank you guys so much for all the continued uh, support. It means a lot, and uh, hopefully all the tech issues can be behind me now for a while, and uh, we can get back to uh, kind of our normal stuff. Just a little sneak peek. Racing will be coming back, um, as far as I know, this week. Um, I'm planning on actually doing uh, some Wreckfest because there was a really good update uh, for Wreckfest that came out, and I'm wanting to do some more Project Cars. That stuff is going to be starting to integrate back. Um, I'm just trying a few different things. Obviously, that's what I really enjoy, but I am limited by my wheel at the moment. But we'll see what happens in the future. Let's just say that. Um, but besides that, uh, main thing, uh, other than the Prime news, the other thing that I wanted to talk about is the varying types of content and the different ideas I have here for the channel. So, obviously, the uh, best of video, which you should check out, um, that was a whole lot of fun. Uh, it's not very long, but it was a good substitute, I think, for the week. Um, it, I was actually planning to put it out during the week, but I decided when I had the issue with the Prime Logistics video just to put it out on the Wednesday to kind of keep things, I guess you could say, consistent, but hey-ho, I'm not going to get back into that one. Um, that's going to be monthly now, because you may have noticed, best of April. Um, so obviously, now for May, there'll be a few... Uh, I'll start adding moments and stuff that into a separate folder for all the best of May moments and stuff like that. But I really wanted to see, and I'm going to just go ahead through the light here. Um, I want to see, like, I'm thinking of a few different uh, directions for the channel, Poss uh, or I say directions, but uh, I gotta go into the Walmart here. Oh, gee. Try and get around the corner. That's a little tight. Kind of wasn't paying attention there. Um, main direction is, uh, would you guys be interested in a prime trucking school? Or like a, a prime how-to series when it comes to different racing things and or just how to, you know, reverse a truck, how to get going an American truck and uh, Euro Truck Simulator too. Um, those different things. And the other thing is that if you would and or if you think that'd be kind of a, a cool thing to do, I mean, I'm probably going to do some of that anyways. But what I was thinking, should I do it in the form of a YouTube short or a sh normal kind of video, so to speak? Um, I'm leaning, oops, that's a pallet, don't mind that. Um, I am leaning a little bit, oh, this is going to be a little interesting, but we're going to make it work. Um, I think if I can pivot around here, we're going to kind of, it's going to be tight on that back corner, but we're going to make it work. Um, I'm think I'm leaning a little bit more towards the YouTube short idea, um, just so we can keep stuff clean and concise. Uh, but the other thing is that, um, when it comes to YouTube short, would you actually just like some more comedic, uh, gaming related, um, shorts? So like how, no oh gee, how not to reverse a trailer, drive into the front wall here. That's a good idea. Maybe I'll do that. Um, do you want those kind of things? I, I'm interested in doing shorts in that sort of sense. I think the how to videos should be more of a and I'm trying to see in the mirror there it's a little small even zoomed in uh, good old monitor um, I think it should be more of a uh, a standard type video uh, is more of a tutorial based I think that would be helpful and there we're in the spot uh, so let me let me know I'm gonna be bringing this up uh, probably the beginning of next episode to kind of uh, continue on that and then go over some of the other stuff that I talked about in this really that really long episode that unfortunately no one will see and to be honest there's probably some things you didn't want to see anyway so th <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one <laughs>